Hey everyone, it's Justin here. Thanks for watching. This video is going to be another one on robotic process automation or RPA Hub as they're calling in service now. This is a new feature uh, come out in San Diego. And a couple of things I want to start off this video kind of talking about. Number one is, as I'm going through and learning this, this is a much more mature product than I'm used to seeing kind of on the first iteration from ServiceNow. There's a lot going on and a lot of cool stuff and potential for uh, making this really powerful for you and your organization. So what is it? Um, so RPA Hub, I heard a great analogy this week. Think of it as a way to um, automate, you kind of see it behind me, automate you know, repetitive, mundane human tasks. And I'm like, well, what is that? Like, I mean, there's always a way to automate, sure. And um, it had a light bulb turn on when I was talking to a customer who wanted to take in tickets from their customers and then that needed to go to another system that they uh, use, but that system doesn't have an API. And I was like, oh, this is what we're talking about. So we can use a robot to take that information from ServiceNow and do what a human would do for that ticket entry in that other system. So in this video, let's talk about um, I covered before, I'll put a link at the top, a little card so you can click on it. The, I talked about RPA Studio. I'm going to show you that again, but first I wanted to start in Flow Designer. And specifically, I wanted to show you kind of what um, the RPA Hub options are within Flow Designer that I found so far. I'm sure I'll find some others. Essentially, in your flows, you can use RPA Hub as a spoke to add work items to the queue or add users to attended or unattended robots, fetch status of those work items or of the actual um, execution, and start processes. So there's a way, there's a interaction and integration between our, our robotic process automation and the stuff you already know and love in Flow Designer. Second thing I want to show you is back in RPA Studio. So and when I've covered this the first time, it was more like an unboxing, right? It was like, oh, look at this cool new tool for RPA Studio. What I glossed over was this toolbox over here on the left-hand side. Let's pop it out and make it a bit bigger um, on the center of the screen here so we could talk about all the things. Now, first of all, I'll explode out all this stuff. And as I'm talking, I'm just going to scroll through. So as you're watching this video, you can see it. There are over 1,300 different components in this toolbox for you to do stuff with. So a lot of those human mundane repetitive activities, this is what's at your fingertips. I'm gonna call your attention to a couple of them in this one. But uh, first one I wanna show you is back up here in the RPA Hub itself. And we were just in Flow Designer, so I wanna show you the other side of that. From the RPA Studio, you can do the same things around status and the outputs from Flow Designer or to Flow Designer, but we can also call flows and subflows from your RPA Studio uh, workflow. So that's pretty cool. Um, but let's start at the top here. We'll kind of shrink this. What kind of things might people want to do? You can see here on the UI, you might want to click on something. You might want to use the mouse. You might want to do some OCR, or optical character recognition on text send key strokes to that application, stuff like that. So maybe that gives you a little bit idea of, of what might happen there. You got decision logic, so or conditional logic, so you can move around through things. Some connectors that are out of the box. So this is where I was saying this is a pretty mature product, um, connecting to Excel, Outlook, Word, and other, op other options for connecting to things. There's some data modelers um, around XML. In the general, we can throw up message boxes and do things in parallel, write scripts, talk to SQL, terminate, um, all kinds of cool stuff there. Within ITSM, run PowerShell, run WMI. Um, we've got some looping capabilities. Of course, you want to loop through um, different activities. Maybe we're entering a bunch of tickets in another system. And back in the RPA Hub itself, there's some other common things you might want to do, like impersonation, storing credentials, getting process information, managing attachments, um, stuff like that. In the security section, there's some options around encryption, in the utilities, uh, all kinds of little things that you might want to do in order to automate your particular processes. So we'll roll that up or explain that out again because some of these have sub menus. Oh yeah, this is one more. We'll, we'll pause here after this. Um, PDFs, you know, we get a lot of conversations about getting information from PDF or, you know, converting PDFs to certain things. So a lot of times that is someone pulling that up in Microsoft Word or pulling it up in some other application, doing a save as, 
convert to PDF or doing that you know, file print uh, dialog to get into a PDF. So think of the potential for how you could leverage robotic process automation in your particular business processes. There's gonna be more videos on this as again, as I learn the platform, as I learn the new functionality and technology. This is just to cover some art of what's possible. If you haven't already, check out the previous video where we opened RPA Studio and took a look and you'll see more of these videos. If you like this one, if you could like it, subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested, that would be awesome. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.